Tonight, state officials are saying very little about a proposed pipeline that would divert billions of gallons of water from Tippecanoe County to Boone County. But 13 Investigates has learned new information that suggests the state's controversial Wabash River pipeline will move forward. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel says tonight that some of the initial testing is now complete and it supports the state's plan. The Wabash River near Lafayette is where the state hopes to get billions of gallons of water to support a massive new economic development project in Boone County. That project, which is already being built, is expected to need up to 100 million gallons of water a day. And right now, Boone County simply does not have access to that much water. So the Indiana Economic Development Corporation is studying and designing a 35-mile pipeline from Lafayette to Lebanon to supply the necessary water. Last month, 13 investigates revealed the state's $10 million contract to play on the pipeline and growing concerns from residents, community leaders, and state lawmakers. I know Purdue is very concerned. We have businesses here in the industry that are concerned, and we have a right to be, be concerned. Look at the entire... Thursday morning, the controversial pipeline was the main topic of discussion at a statewide water summit, and 13 Investigates was there. Jack Whitman, a water expert overseeing the state's Wabash River aquifer testing, shared some new details. He said 19 separate wells have been drilled along the Wabash River to analyze the aquifer and whether it can provide enough water for the project. And he also said the data collected so far is very encouraging. What it shows is that aquifer and that river are large relative to the need. So, I mean, there's no particular information that came out of any of the testing or drilling that was done that, that makes us think that this isn't anything other than a very good idea. Whitman told 13 News more wells will be drilled at separate sites over the next few months to help scientists build models and make further conclusions. And he said all the data will be made public. It, it really needs to be. We need trust because trust is important to the, the whole effort. But trust has not been high when it comes to the pipeline project, largely because residents and community leaders say IEDC has not been transparent about its plans. What have you been told about this project? <laughs> nothing. We knew nothing of that until you came here. Things are moving much quicker than we were originally told. Over the past six months, IEDC has declined to meet with 13 investigates to discuss the pipeline, and the agency did not show up for a community meeting. An IEDC representative did attend Thursday's water forum and spoke to attendees, saying, we are in the preliminary engineering phase to essentially prove out the hypothesis of the plan. What we are actually doing is collecting the information to be able to make a recommendation up the chain to how we could proceed forward with the project. There is no specific timeline we can give. The project's timelines are actually spelled out in these documents obtained by 13 investigates, but the agency redacted much of that information. Bob Siegel with Channel 13, yeah. how are you? Good. And when we tried to ask about that on Thursday morning. And the, the, the water I, program. I, I apologize, I have to run for a meeting, um, but if you call Erin Schweitzer, she can coordinate an interview. We've attempted to do that for months and that hasn't happened. I, I, I would contact Aaron Schweitzer and uh, try and coordinate an interview. So you are willing to sit down and talk with us about this? I contact Aaron Schweitzer and we, we can coordinate an interview. We have reached out to IEDC again, and again, we're still waiting for that interview. Bottom line, the state is testing right now to prove whether the pipeline project is feasible. And so far, initial results seem to suggest it is. Still, more testing to come. In the meantime, we've asked IEDC for more information and records, and we are still asking questions. I'm Bob Siegel, 13 Investigates.